So I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and there are not a lot of women here. So <laughs> I'm joined by Jillian Kaplan, who is responsible for telecom and 5G thought leadership at Dell Technologies. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the role that women play in the telecom industry. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So as I was sort of alluding to, this industry is not known for being particularly diverse, but that is changing. And you've been in the telecom space for a long time. So I wanted to get your perspective on some of the progress you've seen in that space. So I think some of the progress includes uh, companies setting really big goals around diversity and inclusion, which is extremely important, making sure that they um, have metrics and responsibilities around getting a certain amount of women hires and other diverse group hires. But I think there's still a lot of um, space and, and room for progress in making sure that corporations hit the goals that they're setting for themselves. So drawing from your personal experience working in the industry, are there any key learnings or takeaways you can kind of share with us? Yeah, so in my career I've done speaking engagements and I used to really focus on being a female first and talking about how important it is to be a female in the industry. If you, you know, see them, you can be them. And I still think that is extremely important, but over the past year, I've really tried to focus on just being a subject matter expert first and sort of being a female second and just being there and showing myself and not necessarily talking about being a woman. And I think that's helped a lot, just like putting my best foot forward in the subject instead of focusing on changing the conversation yeah. and the focus of the conversation. Yeah, I think that's yeah. really important. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone who is looking to get into the industry maybe for the first time? So I think that you just have to go for it. And it's like any other industry. I think women especially, if they don't check every single box, if they see a job opening and they don't check every single box, they're nervous to apply. And I just think that you have to say, okay, well I check eight out of 10 or nine out of 10 or whatever the case may be. Like if you're mostly there, you just have to apply and you just have to go for it because the reality is no one checks every single box and that's okay. You can learn, anyone can learn. So keep that in mind when you're applying, make connections, get to know people, do your own research. There's tons of certification programs out there and ways you can learn about the industry, connect with people on LinkedIn, um, get to know what, what's going on in the industry and just educate yourself and put yourself out there. Great, that's great advice. Um, so we have made some progress, but I think we can both agree that it's really not enough. So looking forward, what are you hoping to see change about the industry or the education, you know, STEM education, science education? Do we need to start getting young girls interested? Do we need to start earlier? What are your thoughts on that? It definitely starts early. It has to start early. And it starts with STEM being seen as cool earlier on. Um, it starts with telecom being seen as cool. People forget how important a network is. Um, you can't do anything without a network. Like, we just went through COVID, right? And I say all the time, like, what could we have done with COVID, in COVID without a network? Really nothing. Like, Word and Excel on your computer, like that wouldn't have been super exciting for two years. And oftentimes we forget about the network until it doesn't work. So building a network is super cool. It's so incredibly important. So little can run without a network. And we've got to change the conversation around how cool, you know, working in telecom is because it's a really exciting, really fast paced, really amazing industry and who the people who work in telecom, what they look like and who those people are. We have to change that perspective Yes, as well. yes, and you know, people who work in telecom, for the most part, it's it's a place that people start and they they sort of stay for a very long time and they, they retire. And so it's important that we bring in fresh, mm -hmm. young talent and it's okay that like people don't stay in the same company forever and that they learn and grow and change um, and that hasn't been the case for telecom so far people tend to like sort of start and finish at the same place so I think changing the conversation is super key awesome Julian thank you so much thanks for having me yeah.